John, uh, well, it was an eventful second half, but a uh, defeat in the end here against Claythorpe. Thoughts on that one tonight? Just second best all the way around. I looked so on the dressing room, we're bored. It's about how many missed headers, how many missed kicks did we do? Plenty. How many did Cleethorpes do? None. There was clinical, the, the heading out of defence was superb, the clearing out of defence was superb, the organisation was a lot better. We gave their front three miles too much space, uh, where Brett, Jack, Nathan or Mark when he was on just didn't get that space, just didn't get it and we've got to learn, we've got to learn from that today because Cleethorpes gave us, I thought, a lesson in being first to the ball all the way around the pitch for 90 minutes. Uh, are you disappointed that it took us so long to get going and have a proper go at them as we did in the second half? Very disappointed, you know, especially after the first game against Sheffield where we showed some great character and things like that, but just didn't show that same character. Uh, Cleethorpe, I'm not taking anything away from them. Um, I thought they didn't let us settle in any in any department today and thoroughly deserved the 4-2 win against us. Uh, we get back in the game through Jack Carr but then concede pretty much straight away up the other end. How frustrating is that? Very frustrating. Some of the goals that we gave away, the first one, you know, just Ryan, you know, should have caught it or should have, you know, a big punch. And it just leaves us vulnerable in there. Then another one of the goals, a back header, puts their guy straight through. You know, just slack goals, just slack goals. And we've got to stop giving away slack goals. Um, you know, the one on Saturday, get, you know, a defensive mistake. And we've got to stop it. We've got to be tight. We've got to be tight. If we want to be successful this season, we've got to be tight in defence. Um, stop giving us mountains to climb. Uh, but then we did get another glimmer of hope with Nathan Curtis scoring from the spot on his home debut. Yeah, yeah, like I said, there's a glimmer that we, we showed that fighting spirit that we maybe showed against Sheffield. But all around, all around tonight, just didn't think we were good enough. Honestly, I didn't think we were good enough. Uh, it was always going to be tough tonight. Um, we expect Cleve not to be in and around at the top of the league. Um, can you take some positives from tonight? Yeah, some positives the way we showed our the fighting spirit when we got it back to 2-1, then got it back to 3-2. Um, but that's when you're, you're most vulnerable when you score and we didn't learn from the first one when we got it back to 2-1 we didn't learn from that then we didn't learn from when we got it back to 3-2 which we've got to start learning we've got to start learning yes it's a new team it's you know we're blending in together and things like this but we've got to learn quickly like you said it's a new team and it's obviously uh, just a second game in so lots of time to put things right yeah very much so um, we've got to go again on Saturday and just make sure we do put it right. Uh, just a word on Matt Ferguson, obviously he went off in the first half with what looked like a hamstring injury. Do we have any idea of how uh, serious that is? I don't think it's serious. I think he just felt a little twinge and he just wanted to be on the safe side. So hopefully he should be available, um, but it was just a precaution. And obviously Jack Cook missed out for injury tonight. Is he? Uh, how long will he be out for? Uh, I think Jack should be back um, for the midweek game next week. And finally, John, on Saturday where we travelled to concert, um, a bit of an unknown quantity with them being new to the league, but what can you expect from that one? Uh, we've done a homework on like we do on everybody. It's on a 4G pitch um, and, you know, don't really know a great deal about them, um, but they're going to be competitive. They're from the North East, so they're going to give us a really good game of football, so it should be enjoyable. Do you have to prepare differently with it being a 4G pitch? Not really, because we're so used to 4G now, the guys train all the time, so, you know, it's just just norm now. It's not like it used to be you know, when you came across the 4G, but we're training on it, so you know, there's, no, there's no excuses. Thank you, Sam John. Thank you.